Saying I love you is very easy, but being dedicated to, the, to that love, that takes a lot. My name is Sahba Aminikia, and I'm an Iranian-American composer. Uh, I was born and raised in Iran and immigrated to the United States as a refugee in 2006. The piece uh, Shams is a 50-minute multimedia experience and uh, every uh, part of the piece explores one step of falling in love, in fact. Originally, Shams was a very renowned mystic in Iran. And he was traveling and he left his institution and he was looking for an equal. And uh, he found Rumi and these two spent 40 days together. And after that, Rumi became the person that we know today. My name is Sam Brookman. I'm the artistic director of Verdigree Ensemble. So Verdigree Ensemble formed in 2017 from the very start of when I started making music was to be able to create these multi-sensory experiences that would like flip a switch in audiences to turn them into like action-oriented people through art. The idea of Shams took off when I met Saba actually kind of randomly on the internet. And over the course of four conversations, he completely changed my perspective on so many things. <laughs> uh, so Sam reached out to me and his main intention was to connect to the community of Dallas. Can we try a 387? As I started to research this and try to create parallels across different areas of how this could potentially be relevant in Dallas, I realized that there's an enormous immigrant and refugee population in the city. And more so, when I mention this to people, they have no idea that there's this enormous contingency. And so Shams came out of this desire to be able to find something for Dallas, to find something for our city that is little known. I paint portraits, raise idols, make beautiful shapes, but they all melt away before you. We're not necessarily, I mean, we are, we are storytelling, we're storytelling, but the larger narrative that we're telling is one of change. And that is something that we experience on a local level, on a regional level, on a national and international level, and something that is needed more than ever today. Able to bring this text to life, um, in a choral setting with innovative artwork that's been commissioned as well for this ensemble um, here in Dallas. And so that in itself is a major feat. I came onto the project to help with the translations from the Persian into English. The singers sing in Farsi and, and that's quite a remarkable feat, uh, but they wanted to make it accessible to the American audience too. I just want to bring the attention to, um, to the performers, first of all, that they took on this incredible task to do this piece. It's not easy and we are not used to uh, languages that are, not, uh, that are not of that five countries that we mostly perform music of in the classical music scene. And every time we read a poem, we open up a little bit in the same way that the author opened up for the original experience. We need to be able to see the human part of people and the human part of culture in order to find areas of understanding. And if we're not able to do that, then we experience, you know, what we see today. When you do things that are so ancient and so wise, like Shams, Shams is literally in the room and, and Rumi is literally in the room. We have to feel something that we can all connect to and that thing should be beyond ourselves. Now that everyone has changed perspectives, has had their perspectives changed, or has realized something about the piece, their mission now is to do that for everybody else. And that comes around 
to the very beginning of what I told you about, which is flipping that switch for audiences. Shams of Tabriz, you are both the sea and the pearl. Your existence through and through is none other than the mystery of the one. 